Hello, this is Mira from Malaya Pilates. This is Reformer Mat class. I'll be translating the exercises on Reformer machined onto a mat work series. It will be an intermediate level class. So let's go ahead. We'll start lying on the back. So lying supine, with the feet hip width apart, arms nice and long, chest is nice and open. Let's take a few moments for some breathing. Take an inhale. Exhale. Let your body settle on the ground. Two more sets. Inhaling. Exhale. Bring your focus and attention into your center, into your body. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Let's move on to some pelvic curl for some warm up. So, breath out. Drawing the abdominal in, imprint the lower back, and let's take your pelvis up onto a bridge position. Inhale. Exhale. Let the body melt down to the ground and release the pelvis at end. Again, we breathe out. And we peel up, coming on to a bridge position. Inhale. Exhale. Let's melt the spine down. And release. Let's go two more times here. Exhale. Really try to allow the spine to articulate. So, one vertebra at a time. And exhale. Let's take it down. And release. One last one. And a breath out. Bring it up to the bridge. Inhale. Exhale. We come back. Okay, moving on. Some spine twist. One leg up to the table. And then second leg to the table. Take your arms out to the T position. If you have space, if not, just bend the elbow, place the arm down on the ground. Let's rotate towards me, which is my left. Inhale, and then exhale. And then rotate to the back of the room as you inhale. And then exhale. Allowing your legs to travel together as one unit. And exhale. And to the back of the room, inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more each side. Inhale. And an exhale. Last one. Inhale. And an exhale. All right, let's take your arms down by the side. I'll be going through the spacy block system here. So we'll start with the footwork. So drawing your center in, flex the feet. We go ahead and press the legs out. <sighs> inhale. Now, the angle of the legs is depending on the strength of abdominal. You don't have to go too low. You can go slightly up in a diagonal if you need to. As you extend. And again, two more. Reach. So choose a height that's comfortable for you. Last one. And come back. Point your feet. And let's go ahead. Extend. In breath. And Drawing your center deep into the ground as you extend the leg. And again. Two more. Last one. Into the small V position. So open up your feet, open up your knees, and let's go. Exhale. And fold. And again. And fold. Extend. And four. Extend. And four. Two more. Last one. Come back. Bring the legs back to parallel. Flex your feet. Let's do some prancing. Sorry, some calf raises. So we're going to extend. We point. We flex your feet. And point. And flex. And point. Hold the center. And point. Flex. Three more point. Flex. Two. Flex. Last one. And flex. Point. Fold the knee. 
lower one foot down and second one down. So moving on to our single leg. So I'm gonna stretch my front leg, my left leg, slide it on the ground with a flex fit. I want you to keep that pelvis stable here. And then come back in. Exhale, as you stretch your leg, draw up the abdominal wall up to your heart. And then inhale, keep the spine long as you drag it in. Exhale. And an in breath. Exhale. And an in breath. Two more. And an in breath. Last one. And then we switch over to the other side. So the back leg, extend it slight, keep the pelvis stable, inhale. So imagine you have a cup of tea on resting on your pelvis. That cup of tea should stay absolutely stable and not spilling the tea anywhere. And extend, reach. Two more time, and flex the feel, sorry, excuse me, flex the feet, tongue twister. Last one, extend, and come back in. Now, moving back to the other leg. Point the foot coming up, and then let's go stretch. In breath, and exhale. In breath, your pelvis again, stay nice and centered and stable. And three, in breath, and two, in breath, and last, in breath, lowering the leg, uh, the leg coming up onto the tabletop, and then extend, and we fall. Think about reaching up from the hip joint, okay? And extend, reach out, we fold. Extend, reach out, we fold. Two more, reach out, and fold. Last one, reach out, and hold. All right, joining the other leg up to the table. Take your arms overhead, moving on straight to your hundreds. We breathe out, stretch the leg up, and we pump. Inhale, three, four, five. One more time. Hold, fold in the knee. One foot comes down. The other one to stretch your legs long. Rest your head back down. Take your arms overhead into a roll up here. So knees, sorry, your legs nice and tight in together. Take your arms up, follow by the head lift. And an exhale, pull up, 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 up and then lift the back. All right, moving on to our short box series here. So we're gonna bend the knees, okay? Now, hip width apart with the feet and your knee. Hands in front like so, interlace. So, sitting up nice and tall to start, and then moving on to a round back. So we're gonna scoop the belly into a C curve, and I'm gonna roll it back. Melt the spine down to the ground, in breath, exhale. Come over and lift the spine tall. Two more times. C curve. It's really crucial that you anchor the feet on the ground here. And exhale. And then coming up. You can also press the heels onto your ground and flex your feet up like so. So really dig your heels into the ground. And then roll back. You can do this version too. And then exhale. Dig the heels. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. And then bring it up. Okay, moving on, hands to behind the head. Now, flat back, I'm just gonna go into diagonal here. So we're gonna inhale, lean back, so you know what's going on. And exhale, and again, inhale, lean back, flat. And an exhale, one more, inhale, lean. And an exhale, for the side tilt. Over, inhale. And then exhale, inhale, reach, anchor the bottom, ground it onto the floor, and inhale, tip, and an exhale, inhale, tip, and on one more side, inhale, tip, and center, last one, and then let's go to the twist, we twist, we reach, and come back, and then twist, we reach, 
Okay, your wrench is not as big how you normally done on the reformer, but you still good get a nice, great abdominal work here. And one more each side, inhale, tip, and exhale, center. Last one, twist, tip, exhale, center. Let that go. So now from here, you're gonna stretch your back leg, which is my right leg, my hands on my front leg, my left leg. So climb a tree. We're gonna lift that spine tall, compressing the hip here. And we go for three, two, three. Now unfolding the leg up to the ceiling. And now we're gonna curl that pelvis, rounding, walk your hand, three, two, one. Take your arms overhead, circle to the side, Lift the head and the chest up. Walk your hand, one, roll up, two, three. Lift the spine tall, and we fall one more time. Two, three, inhale, unfolding, extend. Exhale, rounding, walking, walking, walking. Arms overhead, circle, lift up, and up. One, two, three, lift. Lift, just a little extra stretch. Open up the other arm, opposite arm, or the left arm. Go my left leg and my left arm, twist it, and then come back. Switch, slide the left leg out. Bring your right leg in, and we compress. Stretch the leg, roll back. Walk your hand, three, two, one. Circle up around, lift the head and the chest, walk it one, lift up two, three, up tall, and we fold. Again, compress, three, two, one, and unfolding, rounding, walking one, two, three, circle, and walk it up two, three, lifting, lengthening up, and then I'm gonna have my right arm opening, rotating to the backs, lengthening the back, and bring it back, and slide the leg down. All right, take your arms forward, pulling that center, and we roll back, we move moving on to our hip work. Arms down, chest is open, bring the feet in, one leg up to the table, second leg out onto our frog. So open the knee, flex the feet into the small V, and we go, extend, and an in breath, exhale, and an in breath, two more, flex the feet, one more, we stay, stretch your leg up to the ceiling, point your feet, let's go into a circle, we're gonna start with a down circle, out, and over, exhale, and together, two more, and up, last one, and back, the other way, out, down, going up, and then three more, and up, and then two more, and up, and the last one, and up, fold, one foot comes down, second one comes down, okay. Bring your feet parallel. Again, hip width apart. Now, once you go into a little tiptoe, so your heels comes up or releve. Right, so going onto our bottom lift, we're gonna scoop the belly in, and I'm gonna curl the pelvis up, okay? Heel stays up, roll it down, and then release the pelvis. And again, exhale, so. Keeping the inner thighs active, up, in breath, exhale, melting, release the pelvis to the end, again, exhale, rolling up, onto the bridge, in breath, exhale, coming back to the floor, one more time please, we go, exhale, Roll it up, in breath, and then coming down, 
Okay, now lower the heels down, bring your feet into small V, so your thighs in external rotation. So we're going to do the same my circle here. So we're gonna bring the arms overhead, press the back of your arms down onto the ground. Now we're going to lift the heels up and curl the pelvis up and then roll down. Release the pelvis at and release the heels. Again, heels up and then pelvis comes up. Roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. And then and roll it down. And then release the pelvis at the end and heels come down. Two more times, heels come up and roll up. Make sure the hamstrings are engaged so you don't get pushed back towards your head by reaching the knees towards the feet and roll it down. And release the pelvis and the heels. One more time, please. Heels comes up. Roll it up to the bridge. In breath. And exhale. Release, 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 and release the heels. Stretch your legs away. Take your arms over. Coming up into a roll up and roll yourself up. And lift the spine up release moving on onto our stretch series so the front leg will go at the back so my left leg behind my right leg in front here so drawing up that center here okay let's take your arms up to the ceiling lift up the center reach the back knee off the front knee needs to be a line heel and knee and one straight line okay we go down, inhale, exhale, reach back, inhale, the knee goes down, you don't lift the bottom, you just stretch the leg back, I don't go up and down with my pelvis, maybe slightly, and an exhale, but I don't want you to straighten the front leg, okay, keep it bent, and extend, one more, and extend, stay, stretch the front leg, tip the body forward, Adjust the back leg a little bit if you lose that grip. And then we can bring the heel down if you can for a good calf stretch as well as a hamstring. If you want to get more hamstring stretch, you just have to tip the body more forward on lower to the ground. Stay three, two, one. Bring your body upright, come down, release the arm, switch. Okay, left foot's back, right leg's Sorry, left foot is forward, right leg is back, curling that pelvis under, taking your arms up, and then reach the back leg. All right, here we go. Knee down, curl the pelvis, and then reach. And knee down, and reach. And knee down, and then reach. And two more, and reach. And last one and reach, straighten the front leg. All right, just the back leg if you're losing the grip. Tip the body forward, keep that center in, back heel down if you can, stay there. Three, two, one, body upright, come down, release. Okay, so down onto your quadruped position. We're going to do scooter, scooter on a mat, that is. Right, so on all four position, we're gonna pull that center in, rounding and pulling up that belly into a round back, okay? And then you're gonna stretch your arms forward, okay? But keep pulling that belly in, stretch your arms forward. Okay, keep the neck aligned, okay? Pull into your center, so pull up as you press your arms in. Then we're gonna slide the left leg, the front leg out. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep the belly connected. Exhale, two more. Last one. Bring it in. All right, we switch. Pull up again, stretch the other leg, and then pull it in. In breath, in breath. Really contract the abdominal in. Pull your arms back into the socket. Even though you're in flexion in the spine. 
two more. Last one, bring it back and return. Hand underneath the shoulder again and then release the spine. Good job. Now here, we're gonna pull that belly again into that C curve. So drawing it nice and tight, tuck the toes under. Okay, right. Now, again, stretch your arms forward in that flex spine. Okay, pull that center in, shoulders wide, press the feet down, lift the knees, float, stay. Exhale, in breath. Two more. One more. Knee down, release the spine, come into a slight extension in the back. Again, your abdominal is drawn in, and then press the feet, shoulders back, and then reach the knees off, float the knees off more like it, and then stay. Exhale, in breath. Two more breath. Last one. We stay, stretch the leg, coming on to our elephant, which is our downward facing position. And we're gonna draw the heel down, send the pelvis long to the ceiling, get the shoulders open, and then we stay here, inhaling. Bring the tailbone and a, and a sitting bone reaching out away from the spine. And exhale. Your back is active. Your abdominal is active. One more breath. Up onto our up stretch. Up on a tippy toe here. Now let's take the left foot off. Flex the foot. We're gonna go out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Two more. Last one. Bring it back. And then switch. Flex the foot. Inhale, reach. Two. Two more, one, bring it back, heel down, another big stretch in the leg, and then come down, and then sit up. Okay, so now I want you to sit with the leg straight in front of you. Right, so we're going to the sitting arm series here. So your spine is elongated, it's tall, Take your arms forward. If you have one kilo weight, you're welcome, or any bigger than one kilo, you're welcome to use it here. All right, here we go. Pull it back and center, and and center, and two more. Last one. Let's stay back. Little pulses for six. Three, two, one. Good job. Take your arms forward, palms up, and we go for the bicep curl. And extend. And again, two. And extend. Again, you can use weight in your hands if you have one at home, a pair at home, not just one. And then two more. Last one. Okay, to our <clears throat> rhomboid here. So we're gonna bring the elbow in front of the shoulder, open the elbow to the side, keep the shoulder blades apart. Now, squeeze, bring the shoulder blade, kissing each other, opened, and together. And out, squeeze, open, and together. And an out, squeeze, out, and together. Two more, out, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then pull them apart. And one more, out, Together, squeeze out. All right, stretch your arms. Open your arms to the side here for your hugger tree. So let your arms settle down on the shoulder blade. We go forward, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, make sure that your arms is in your peripheral vision, guys. So not too far that you can't see where they are. And again, exhale. And two more. Last one. Opened. Bend the elbow. Hands on the dimple of the, the temple, not dimple, temple of the head. We're going to stretch your arms forward. Proud chest. Pull it in. And stretch it out. And then pull it back. And stretch, stretch, stretch. And pull back back and stretch, stretch, stretch. 
and pull back, back, too much stretch. And pull back, last one, stretch. And good job. You know what, let's do one more time. Stretch there, hold, little circle. Four, three, two, one, reverse. Three, two, one. Then you can take them back and then let it go. Good job. All right, so coming on to our kneeling position. So here we are. We're gonna on, coming up onto our arms to the side, moving on onto our leg series. That's what I'm trying to say. I've got a little tongue twister here. So we're going to tip to the right. Well, I'm tipping to the right here. Okay, now into kind of like our side kneeling kick position here. We're gonna stretch the top leg long. Take the top hand behind the head. We lift and then down. Lift. I'm going to do six here. Three, two, one. Let's take it up again here. We're going to bend and then stretch and bend and stretch. Keep the heel aligned with the sit bone. And three more. Two more. Last one, and the side kick. We go forward, back, and exhale. Inhale, and three more. Last one, back, back, bring side, bring it down. When you're not done, you hold that. Bring the bottom leg off, place it behind the front leg, hold, and we go down. And I will take it up, side bend, over, up, and then down. And again, side bend, lift, and over, and then up, and down. Two more, side bend, lift, and over, up, and down, last one. Up, over, lift, come down. Good job. Tuck the feet in. Bottom arm comes up. Nice lateral stretch. Stay. Inhale. Exhale. And bring it up. All right. Over to the other side. Coming up. Onto our knee again. Arms out to the side. This time, this is my left, left hand down, stretch my right leg, right hand behind my head. And now we lift, and down, on two, and three, and four, and five, one more, six, we stay up, we bend, and stretch. Heel align with the tooth bone, and out, and three, and out, and four, and out, and five, and out. One more, and we go forward. And, and, three more, two more, last one. Back, back, side, down. We're not done yet. Bring the bottom leg behind. And then take the top arm and come down. For the side bend. We lift and over. We take it up and down. We lift and over. And take it up and down. And again, lift away. Can't remember how many we've done on the other side. Let's do two more, guys. And again, two more. And over. And lift. Last one. And up. Over. Lift. And good job. Bring the feet in. Okay, we're going to take the arm up. And over, 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 and bring it up, and release. Good. Okay, let's go to our swan here. 
Okay, so let's have the elbows back, gliding back away from the shoulder. Okay, now take an inhale. And then as you exhale, just allow the abdominal to lift up from the ground, your legs to activate, your shoulder to broaden even more. And then from here, we're gonna inhale, bringing the chest up into your maximum mid back extension. Exhale, continue to stretch your arm to where you can. Fully extend it if you can, if not, that's fine. And then descend the elbows, bringing back down. And again, inhale, glide that chest. Coming on to maximum mid-back extension and then push the floor again. And then lift the spine up. And bring it back down. And return. Again, inhale, sliding the chest forward and up. And I'm pushing the floor away, away away and bring it back back one more time and again inhale lifting shoulders broad reaching 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 and come back down well done okay now push the floor away bring yourself off the ground Bring the knee in slightly onto our rest position. Reach the arms along, pelvis down to your heels, lift in the center. One set of breath here. Inhale. And exhale. And help yourself up. Coming up, sitting upright. Excellent work today, everybody. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you had a great class. If you have any comment or question, you can write in the comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope to see you in my other math class and have a fantastic day. Thank you.